Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and I'm a mama of a two and a half year old little baby girl. Today I'm gonna to be chatting about breech babies. I was a breech baby and my parents were able to flip me when I think they were pretty much in labor with me. And I also had a breech baby. At about 36 weeks, I found out that my baby was breech. And there are a bunch of different kinds of breech babies, but I believe the type of breech she was was called Frank breech. And at that point in time, I had to go into a specialist because my family doctor or the doctor practitioner that I was working with did not specialize in breech babies. So I had to go to a specific OBGYN that specialized in breech babies. When I went to her, I let her know my birth plan. My birth plan was to deliver vaginally and because of the way she was breech, it was still okay and safe for me to do so. I want to quickly mention, of course, anything I'm mentioning in this video, you should of course talk to your doctor first and let them know your concerns and see what they have to say because every single situation is different. Every single baby and pregnancy and mother and doctor is different. So some doctors might refuse to deliver vaginally because of the risks and the dangers of having a breech baby vaginally. So like I'm saying, of course, please talk to your doctor first before doing any of the things I'm talking about in this video. So when I went to the specialist, she was one of the only people in this part of Canada that I live in that will deliver breech babies vaginally. And this is for a lot of reasons. There is a big risk factor when it comes to delivering breech babies vaginally especially depending on the type of breach that the baby is. And this specific doctor actually was going on vacation. So I would have had to deliver my daughter two weeks early or I would have had to have a C-section. So she kind of gave me the option of either or and the other option was flipping the baby. She normally specializes in flipping breech babies, but she says her success rate for flipping babies over 36 weeks is zero because the baby at that point is just very big. I was actually pretty small when I was pregnant, so there wasn't a lot of room for her to be any, doing any flipping. I don't know how it happened, but between the day that I had my doctor's appointment and a few days later when I had my OBGYN appointment with the specialist, I somehow flipped my daughter. So when the doctor went to check, the OBGYN went to check with ultrasound, she was like, your baby's not breech. And we were really confused, like, what do you mean she's not breech? So at that point, I actually already flipped her. I didn't have to do anything. She actually even did a check, so she pretty much just put her hand up there and checked and was like, yeah, you're good. Like, you're golden, you're good to go, your baby's ready. So I have my notes here, but what did I do to flip my baby? So there's a lot of things I did, and I don't know specifically exactly what made her flip, but there's a lot of things you can try and a lot of resources out there and some main things that my doctor suggested again please consult with your doctor first and do not listen to me because I'm not a doctor but what my doctor said to do was baths having some heat source at the bottom of your uterus to have your baby want to go down there and flip I've seen people put ice packs at the top of their belly and sit in the bath and that way the baby just wants to go down to where the heat is and I think that's a really big one of course you want to be just like relaxed and sometimes do some small meditation or exercises whether that being doing pelvic rotations on an exercise ball or sometimes just bouncing on the exercise ball there's different stretches you can do as well of course like i said please just consult with your doctor i don't want this to just be misconstrued 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 whatever the word is i just don't want anyone to get hurt so please take what i'm saying with a grain of salt and talk to your doctor about it first a lot of times when your baby is breech, your doctor will recommend you just do a C-section. And like I said, the reason for that a lot of times is because of the risk factor of it. And I understand that there is a big risk when it comes to it, especially depending on the way that your child is breech. But trust your gut at the same time. For me, I honestly, in my head, I was going to go with whatever the doctor told me, of course. But at the same time, my gut was telling me that it was okay and that I could deliver vaginally and I was willing to try it. So that's why I went to that specific OBGYN at that point in time and it worked out really well for me. Another big popular thing with breech babies is something called hypno babies or hypno birthing. So essentially, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like a meditation or just thing that you do. You can talk calmly, have your partner talk calmly at the lower bottom of your belly and just rubbing. That's how my parents flip me. I don't know if you can see, I'll get up on the next step. So on my birth mother's belly, they would put their hand and slowly have me move along with it. And I would go with my back against my dad's hand and he would slowly move me. And that's how they flipped me when they were in labor with me. And I did definitely try that a lot with my daughter. And I don't know if that specifically what worked, but I would push on my belly and she would always kick back. 
And so I would slowly just keep moving as I was pushing and I could feel kind of like her following a little bit. Obviously, like I said, there wasn't a lot of room for her to be flipping about in there. But at the same time, I think that definitely helped. And just the being calm and meditation and having your partner or calm voice or music talking in the low bottom of your belly and uterus, I think that's really helpful and definitely something to look into if you are having a breech baby that you want to flip. That is how I flipped my breech baby and was able to deliver her vaginally drug-free. If you're interested in those type of videos, I'll link them right down below on how I had a drug-free labor and ways that I induced my drug-free labor. And overall, yeah, I have a lot of birthing and mommy videos on my channel. That's just something I'm super passionate about sharing and supporting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you all quite soon. Bye! Thank you.